The U.S. drone strike that killed Iranian General Qasem Soleimani last week is not the first event to bring America and Iran to the brink of direct conflict. Here's a look at one of the most complicated relationships out there. The 1979 revolution shifted Iran from a monarchy to an Islamic republic after ousting Iran's powerful king, whom the CIA had put in power decades earlier. I'm not afraid of my people. New leader Ayatollah Khomeini's followers blamed the U.S. and took hostage more than 52 Americans at the U.S. Embassy for more than 400 days. First, the United States of America is breaking diplomatic relations with the government of Iran. That set the countries on a 40-year collision course. When Iraq's dictator Saddam Hussein invaded Iran in 1980, the U.S. supported him in a brutal war that served as a training ground for the young Qasem Soleimani, who decades later became one of America's most skillful battlefield adversaries, directing militias and terror groups throughout the Middle East. President Reagan ordered the U.S. Navy to strike Iranian vessels for threatening American ships in the Persian Gulf. And the Navy later admitted mistakenly downing an Iranian airliner, killing 290 people, a grievance Iran's president referred to just this week. Relations got more complicated after the U.S. invaded Iraq, where Tehran and Washington continue to compete for influence. States like these and their terrorist allies constitute an axis of evil. By the time Barack Obama took office, Iran's nuclear program was at a critical stage. He launched secret talks that culminated in a 2015 landmark deal. Today, the United States, together with our allies and partners, has reached a historic understanding with Iran, which, if fully implemented, will prevent it from obtaining a nuclear weapon. But it did not stop Iran from taking Americans hostage, nor did it stop Qasem Soleimani wreaking havoc in the region. The United States will withdraw from the Iran nuclear deal. President Trump used moments, it as justification for pulling out of the deal and applying what he's called the most crippling sanctions in history. But that didn't stop Soleimani either. And now Iran is threatening to restart its nuclear program. With the steps that we, we've taken, there are no fundamental limits that are left. JCPOA was a very realistic agreement. But you know what is dead? Maximum pressure, because it has failed time and again. And another thing that is dead, U.S. presence in our region. 